Hello you goof troop, Joel here from the Hangar Bay. Not a lot to go through in the beginning, so let's open some boxes. And get this testament to failed products out of the way. First things up, uh, this is just a reissue. We've seen this twice before, but one small important thing about it. So we've got the Zarkul 3, uh, Zarkul 2, high mobility type, like the Tri Stars, like Tri Stars set. So, issue with this, P Bundai is still accepting orders for the Black Tri Stars. However, the three set is now out of print. So, if you want to get one of these action, uh, these triple action bases, there is only a limited number remaining. I have two more coming at the beginning of the next month, but that's it. It is out of print. You're not going to be able to get any more of it once I'm out, unless they reissue. But who knows when that happens. This is also a reissue. Important thing here is there was only two runs on this. That means I cannot get any more. There was last month and this month. So we got the Ifrit Nacht. Nacht, I should say. So I'm not saying it's naked, it's it's night. Anyway, so I have I ordered 36 from last month, I ordered 36 on this month, I have 24 now, I have another 12 coming at the beginning of next month because I split up the order. The maximum you could order on this kit is 72. I ordered the maximum, once these are gone, they're gone. So this one's new for this month, we haven't seen it. Kits, so split it up. All right, so oh, that's nice. quite as big. So advanced hazel. So this is a little bit bigger than the standard hazel box because that's the additional shield booster and the sub arms and the sensor unit on the head. That's new for this month. It's still based on the advanced hazel combat colors type, which is dating back to what is it like February, March this year, which goes back to the hazel, which was way earlier, like July or even. July, yeah, July last year, I think it was. This is an old model kit. Now, again, you've got the simple, very, very simple kit. There, um, there are issues, well, there is reasons for that. The reasoning, what I believe, is that it's actually an old kit. It was mothballed for several months. My reasoning behind that is specifically because it's using a lot of older molding technology on it. So if you take, um, people that have built the kit wouldn't, well, point out that it feels a lot like an old kit so specific features like on the um, the intakes on the legs for example those aren't quite out they take a sticker on the front of that which is my next foot there they take a sticker on the front of those instead of being quite out so if you look at a more modern master grade so like the gym sniper 2 if you look at the same parts on it so the legs here the same sort of vents, only they core it out. And the reason for not coring them out is because it tends to bind in the mold. So if you think about how it's injected, the plastic goes into the mold, it goes in hot and under high pressure, it cools down to solidify and so you can eject it. When it solidifies, it shrinks. When it shrinks, it gets tighter around the, um, the, the cores and it binds. So usual, well, one of the technical solutions they can do for that to try and prevent that from happening is have the actual core collapse. So it's like a pin that expands when the mold is closed and then when it opens it contracts and then pulls back so you can got gap and you can actually release the thing from the mold without tearing up the mold or tearing up the part. The other issue is it tends not to use slide molding so this thing I've talked about before so this is from the forearms this prevents seam lines. That's on a modern master grade. The hazel does not use any of that. It does have couple pins on some of the uh, for the, the hole in the beam saver if I can find that part somewhere just quickly there's like two parts of pins so this piece is quite sophisticated because it's fairly deep but the actual yeah so you've got a beam saver you've got a tiny little slide there so a pin that just sort of slides in there and puts that hole in that beam saver that's the only sort of slide molding you've seen on that modern mask grades tend to feature a lot more slide molding 
that's why I believe that's an old kit. The G parts that are coming in July, I have them on order. I don't know how they're, they're going to be, unfortunately. They could be a new thing. They could be an old thing. Don't know until we see them, unfortunately. Because all we get to see at the moment are painted photos. This box. Oh, I missed something from the previous box. We'll, we'll get to that in a sec. So, Jinx 3. This is new for this month based on the Jinx, which was a retail, and then they came out with the Advanced Jinx, which from like July last year or June last year, the blue colored one. So if you're still cowboy or just the, 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 the grunt version, well, sort of grunt, it's a nice suit, but of the um, Advanced Jinx that was available, uh, Deborah's Jinx came after that. Now we have the Jinx 3, Aloys type. I'm assuming they're gonna have a Federation type coming up after this one. Don't know about uh, this one in this case. Nice water slides. Keeps on separate pages. That's a bit different. Not much involved because it's a master grade. Um, crucial thing here is anybody who's built the retail things will know that the, the ankles are terrible. When we move to the advanced jinx, which I have here, which is Deborah's, because I don't have any of the regular one remaining. That's all sold out, but I've got Deborah's Advanced Jinx. Um, they fixed the ankles, so the ankles are a lot, ankles should be a lot tighter on that one. That solution should have carried over. There is a little more plastic on the Jinx 3, despite it being a worse mobile suit, according to uh, Miss Galliana. But I still have, well, now I have both. I don't have the regular Jinx anymore, that's sold out. I do have it in HD form though, if you want an HD version. Jump back to the kit that I missed from the first box. Mass production, Yakushiki. So, unfortunately, this one isn't plated, so you're gonna deal with these sort of curry flavored um, uh, coloring on it. Uh, if you've got gold paint, all you need is a bit of a rattle can. You need to do a bit of sanding to clean up those lumps nicely, but a bit of black spray, a bit of gold uh, spray over the top of that, and you've got yourself a nice kit. And Crucially enough, you have water slides with that, and importantly, you have the specific Hyakushiki markings for the kit, which you do not have for the um, retail kit. You're going to be stuck with stickers on that. There's no official water slides for that. And I got a couple of these. I'm not anticipating. It is still available for order though, so if it starts selling, then I will order more. We just have to wait for July for that. And finally, this box. Heavy Gundam. So they take the local type that they've been producing several different variations of. The recent one from retail is the full scale development P Bandai. The one before that was the local type, which is the cheese colored one. The yellow Gundam, it has obviously the big heavy weapon, heavy launcher, I think it was, on the front. Pushing a bunch of stickers, there's a HD Origin kit, no water slides. I'm sort of hoping that they will do water slides. They've been doing Origin water slides, they've been releasing six sets. I'm thinking they're due for an announcement of that coming soon. Anyway, most of these are sold out. I have a few more coming at the beginning of next month and then later in the month I have more and I'll probably have more coming at the beginning of July. So they have some avail availability unlike the Nacht, which is, yeah, gone. This big one. That box is bigger than I had anticipated. This is based on the Goof Revive. A goof flight type, which they had uh, originally on display in the next phase uh, exhibit at Gundam Base Tokyo. So, because this box is so big, ooh, tiny number of stickers. That's sort of thankful. Um, unfortunately, no sliding molding, slide molding on the shoulders, unfortunately, because well, this is high grade. Sometimes I do that with the, um, like I showed before, the free custom had the slide molding. So I'm guessing. If the kit isn't that big, you have a whole bunch of parts that are X'd off. So, a bunch of wasted plastic there, unfortunately, bits for the bits box and all that. 
uh, there that's available. Salt um, this will probably move very quickly. I have some more available, uh, more on order for July. No clue if there's going to be a third run or not. There isn't, and that's it for that one. But yeah, we're fans of the um, eight eight MS team. Definitely something you can pick up. Right. And that was my finger being cut. Remember to cut away from yourself. Unlike me, cutting towards myself. All right. So we're getting blood on kits. The drift troop. This one, this is the second edition of the PGX here parts. We had that before. That was the first edition. Uh, that one had the cracked GN condenser for the chest. These second edition parts. We've got Kate, we've got the broken part. Oh, there is a. That, I'm going to have to check that. That looks like it's a cracked GN condenser. I will double check that later. Let's see, because they were saying the first edition only had that, and if they didn't sell enough of the first edition, then that might have spilled over. So if you're lucky, you may get the cracked condenser. And then the final kit for this month is another hardened buffer. Mine leg. So this is the one that you probably one of the few kits that instead of facing towards the the um viewer on the display you're gonna have facing away because of the fancy backpack and all the colour there. On this finger. I don't mind imagine. So again these all these ace types are the R R2 and the 1A variations of the high mobility type, and now this um, F mine layer variation, all based on the same mold. They all have been designed at the same time. So, all up so far for this RG mold, we've got the. Well, I don't carry it, but I have one. It's the, it's here. It's the RG, that's the original, that's the retail, that's Johnny Ryden's. Then we saw the black tri stars earlier. You know, the mine layer. I'm assuming. I'm actually going to make a bit of a prediction. I'm going to guess that they're going to do another one of the these zakus as a retail kit. The reason being is they really want to produce water slides. These P Bandai kits, unlike the MGs, these RGs do not come with water slides, and that does impact their value. When you produce water slides, especially in Japan. If you're a model, you really want more parts. Unfortunately, they're stickers. Which is nice if you want to just straight build them. If you want to put more care and time into it, then you need something a little bit better than that, or it will blend a lot more with the kit. Anyway, that's that for this month. Next month, we have... Look at my list. Oh, so, uh, one thing, the Converge Cork uh, figures. From before, I had to I had to push them back because it might have impacted the delivery for the the regular kits, and I don't want to have that delayed. I need to get these things out. So the Dendrobium and the Fars and the Nightingale they've been pushed back to the beginning of next month for delivery. <sighs> Coming up next month for the regular kits, we have the Tawaz Frame Sheedon. Uh, so that's the purple Iron Frame Sheedon from Iron Blooded Orphans. It's just pretty much a recolor. We have the PGA Stray Red Frame Kai. Now, Bluefin Distribution does have that kit. Um, I'm not really ordering any for sale at this point. If you want one, just send me a message, let me know. I can get one for you. Um, I think the orders are still open for June. If it closes, it'll be end up in August or, or July or whatever. Now, after order on that one, you'll have to wait a little bit, but that will be available. I'll probably pick up a couple towards the end of the run. There's very little point of me doing so at the moment. The MG Gym Dominance, which is going to be a very popular kit it's in the MG line. It's got the double beam rifle on the as a weapon, so why wouldn't you want something like that? 
the RE100 Gundam Mark III Unit 8, so the red colored RE100 Gundam Mark III. This version, it's, it's recolored, but it also has the water slides like the gun cannon detector that we saw last month. Um, then the two super popular HGs that are coming is what it is. I can't do much about it except order as many as I can. The HG Woundwort and the HG Pixie. I have both kits coming in. I've ordered as many as I can. I have them, uh, they're on their third runs now. But they're uh, they're coming in. They're available for order now uh, for June, and when that closes out, then they'll be available for July and so forth. Uh, the high new influx, and I got a couple of that. That was a reissue. Not much I could do about it. That was only open for a couple of days, so they only had. It was just like um, reselling old stock that they had produced earlier. They sold out super quick within like two days, and I ordered only ordered two, so that's going to be gone. Um, from Gunner Mage, you've got the Age 1 Unit 2, so a recolor of the Age 1, and the Age 2 Normal Special Forces type. I have both of them, well I've only got one of the Age, or well, only a couple of the um, the Unit 2 coming in, but I've got a few of the Normal type, because that seems to have some traffic behind it, so I'm assuming it has some popularity. Um, restock on the HG Crossbone X0, which we saw before, um, Channel 2S. I sent him the kit, he's put up a review for that already, if you want to check that out. Uh, if you need a link for that, just let me know and I can send that to you. Um, and then, if you're still into the figures, we also have the Converge Psycho Mark II plus the option set. I'm going to sell them both together, I have them both coming in. I might end up pushing that back to July for the same reasons that I pushed the Dendrobium, the Paws and the Nightingale this month. We'll see what happens. Anyway, if you're interested in any of the kits that you've seen today or any of the kits that I mentioned that are up and coming, please check out my eBay store. I have everything that's in stock ready to ship out within one business day. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, we stick together because we're friends forever. Bye.